What you up to? Using my own recipe to make something for these hungry people. <laughs> what do you got in there? I've got some brown rice, say so seven serving spoons. Okay. Oh, there, yes, I see. And then I've got some sweet potato. Okay. It's been all mashed up. Some eggs. Some eggs, some onion, up, onions. onions and peppers. Yes. Coconut oil, baking powder, and a nice, they call it rice salt, but it's got a whole okay. lot of nice flavour. with the sweet potato. I've got minced defrosting. Okay. And I'm going to add to the uh, onions and green peppers. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to make it almost like into a, not a meatball, but a... A fritter. Like a fritter thing. of some sort. Okay. Awesome. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> okay, so you you actually want to like chop up the brown rice so that it's almost like mush to make sort of like a binding agent, yes. right? Yes. Yes. A healthier. Yeah, I get these um, recipes that just randomly pop in my head every now and then, and I mm. the shock if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but yeah. Adrian's my witness, <laughs> most of the time they come out amazing, <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Okay. Add that in, I had to add a little bit of water to make it more smooth like a paste yeah like a, a binding agent yeah mix it all together Now what I've done is I've taken the onion in the um, fine chopping apparatus. apparatus and I added the red pepper and the green pepper. It looks almost like a salsa. Mm -hmm. And then I added fresh crushed garlic mm -hmm. and that rice salt I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Rice salt for Americans and other countries. Bry is South African word for barbecue. So yes. it's like a barbecue mix you can but say. But it's actually nice because it's got garlic and other flavors in. Yes, so and garlic good. is very good for immunity. It's a natural antibiotic, so. So yeah, I'm just gonna get that on the go. Cook it up and then add the mince and add that all to our sweet potato mix. Make like a fritter type yeah. thing. Yes, for sure. Add the eggs to the baking powder and the Smooth that rice and sweet potato. The mixture that was made, yeah. yeah. For binding purposes, to give it a little bit of extra binding, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I tell you. I was going to say what Adrian will call it, but <laughs> mm, that'll be your personal family. Me? I'm well behaved, I tell you. I, I wouldn't dare diss your cooking. Yeah. And there we go. Smells good, looks good, eh? It really does. I'm going to add the mince. Mm. 
Oh guys, this is smelling so good. It looks amazing. And I tasted it. It tastes very amazing too. Right, now that this is done, we're going to get the oven on the go on 180. Okay. Mm, nice, let it heat up. Okay. Right, now, sorry. I'm going to add that to this. I do not waste. <laughs> waste not, want not, as so your grandmother would say, huh? Yeah. Make a meal stretch. Okay. This was an unexpected ingredient, but unfortunately it became a bit too wet. So yeah. I added just like half a cup of oats. Just to give it a bit of body, huh? Yes. Yes. No, of course. Huh? Then you're going to put it in muffin tins and stuff, huh? But then I'm planning to put it in, in, in muffin trays and maybe even in a... Um, a loaf, a loaf tin. loaf tin and see how that goes. Mm. Okay. Sorry guys. That actually looks good. It's it's coming together nicely, you see there? Mm-hmm. Consistency. Yeah. But they're not they're not what you'd say make fritters on their own. You yeah. can't like make their own little shapes and stuff, but definitely if you put it into like muffin tins or um, loaf tins, the binding agent, you know, like the egg and all that, it mm -hmm. should definitely it should take on a good form and um, I am the type of chef that has to always taste her food okay. because I love to taste it and to see if I'm okay and if the food's so right and no yeah. convulsions etc etc and Very nice. <laughs> right. let's see what's happening here they seem to be sitting quite nicely the loaf is at the bottom getting set mm. and everything the aroma smells really good Mm, it really does. Nice. This is the yeah. end result, eh? Yeah, we decided to put them in muffin tins like we told you. The one in the loaf pan is still setting. But this is how it came out in the small muffin tray. Mm, and it's very important, obviously. To let it cool down for at least an hour. Depending on how big the amount is in the pan, huh? Yes. Yeah. We all tasted it. It's totally delicious. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Even Jake agrees. Hey, I tell you, you can hear him. You also think it's delicious, boy? What's he chasing? Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> Even the flies are wanting. No, that's. Let me just taste. Let me see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like little quiches. It's good, eh? I think it just needs a little sprinkle of cheese. Mm. We didn't let these cool long enough, so they need to actually still set a bit longer. But yeah, for a first attempt, not bad at all, Candy. Very good. Thumbs up. Ooh. And to wear this thing on a hot day, oh my gosh. Hey oh. boys, you feel the same, hey? Yeah. Mommy needs to quickly check if she's got a little bit of extra change that she can just quickly draw. Ocean view from the grocery store where we're going to be at now. There's a lighthouse.
you see my brain waved recipe really came out well and delicious and I'm really hoping that I can share more um, of those kind of recipes with you or even just practical recipes that can save you money and time so um, all the best and thank you for watching with me and hope to see you again soon bye guys thank you so much for spending the day with us um, candy is a perfect example <laughs> of good economizing um, how one can take nothing and make something out of it <laughs> cheers for now guys see you again soon yeah, bye bye